Okay, here we are with the boiler already plumbed up. This is the uh, back of the uh, boiler where the flue gases come out and go up the chimney. That's what that big opening is. And if you can see, you'll see the drain valve on the bottom for draining the boiler if you ever have to do that. And then opposite is what they call the uh, return line or the cold water coming back into the boiler. Okay. Now we're going to come up and you got a shut off valve to isolate it like we talked before and you got a recirc pump and uh, Dave's going to show you which way the pump's pumping the fluid, where the water's coming from and, and obviously it's going into the bottom of the boiler. Okay, when anytime you're installing this, again, every plumb job is going to be totally different. Um, you always want your bypass T underneath the circulator and the valves. Um, so from there on up is your valve where you'll turn it off if you ever need to, to uh, say this fails. Shut that off, shut that off. This is totally isolated. Unbolt this, switch the circulator, and you're done. Now, if you notice on the circulator, you're gonna see an arrow. The arrow was pointing down. What we're doing is, is it's kind of a push-pull effect is how a boiler system works. Right here is pulling the water down, and out of the top of the boiler where the flow check is over here, you'll see there is an arrow going out. That's where it's pushing the water out of the boiler. Okay. Now this water over here, the research pump, it's actually being sucked from the radiators and whatever Correct. type of yes. heating system you have up in your house at your different <clears throat> zones. Yes. Okay. Now, um, as we get back down to this bypass T. Yeah, that, let me go over there. 